back to us, all writers and artists, to abandon decisively the treacherous notion that art can exist for art's sake. can remain remote from the historic conflicts in which all men must take sides. Against the spectacle, our culture introduces total participation. Against preserved art, it is the organization of the directly lived moment. Against particularized art, it will be a global collective practice. This culture would not be dominated by the need to leave traces. A revolution in behavior capable of extension to the entire planet and being further extensible to all habitable planets. To those who don't understand us properly, we say with an irreducible scorn, you, of whom you believe yourself to be the judges, will one day judge you. No more retrospection, no more futurism. Everyone silent, open-mouthed, miraculously illuminated by the vertiginous light of the present, unique and electronically sensitized to the upwardly moving eye, forever renewed, yet forever the same. Let us honor the avant-garde. Let us love our unparalleled century. Our egotism is now supreme, our confidence unswerving. In my glorious isolation, I am illuminated by the marvellous incandescence of my electrically charged nerves. we go forward when action is to watch action, when the eyes are locked in a fixed gaze, when knowledge becomes 
information, when words are stumbling blocks and have lost their representation, when discourse is opinion, when you don't have to know anything and you think you know everything, when to reflect is gazing in the mirror, when to contemplate is, well, thinking about yourself. Kate? Well, Kate, uh, perhaps this could all be dealt with if man was not facing a black hole. The realization that his absolute function, his primary sense of being, has been snatched from him. Now, man was once original. He held and contained a certain authenticity, but now uh, all of that is dead and finished. So man is disposable and dispensable. Okay. And what about art? I mean, can it hold up these uh, harsh blows, Kate? Well, certainly not, Kate. Uh, for art, it's what surrounds you. Now, art does not come from nowhere, or for that matter, anywhere. So creativity does not pop into the head. Now, there are grounds, uh, forces, powers that create and make art a hazardous journey of leaps, crevices, errors, daring, and uh, courage. Kate? I see. A and what about conceptual art? It is the objective of the conceptual artist to make his work mentally interesting to the spectator, and therefore usually he would want it to become uh, emotionally dry. Now, Kate, there's no reason to suppose, however, that the conceptual artist is out to bore the viewer. Well, Kate, it is not only the expectation of an emotional kick that would deter the viewer from perceiving this art. Conceptual art also isn't necessarily logical. Logic may be used to camouflage the real intent of the artist. 